In this video, we will go over the procedures to create exercise 1 of chapter 1. So let's uh, look at this design. Looking at the uh, dimensions of this design, uh, it appears that uh, 0.25 is the smallest increment we need. Uh, and one technique that we can use is to take advantage of uh, using the snap and grid display options uh, to help us uh, very quickly create this design. Also, that now we could not set uh, the snap and the grid display to smaller increments such as uh, 0 0.1. Uh, but the problem is that if you set the increment too small, it's more difficult to get the distance that we want. Uh, so in this case, uh, that the 0 0.25 uh, is a good choice. Uh, so this uh, set up the units uh, and also set up the snap and grid display. So let's uh, go to uh, Format, Unit, and we'll set the precision to show two digits after the decimal point. Uh. Notice that uh, this only adjusts uh, the display at the lower left-hand corner. Uh. It doesn't really change uh, the precision of our drawing. Next, uh, we'll set up the Snap and Grid Display options. Uh. So go to Tools, Drafting Settings, and we'll set the snap spacing to 0.25, and we'll also set up the grid display spacing to 0.25 as well. And we'll switch on both on the grid display and the snap option, and click OK. Now, so in the status toolbar, turn off on all the different options. On but just have the snap option on and the grid display option turned on. So looking at the screen then uh, we will know that uh, the distance uh, in between the two grid points is exactly 0.25 inches. Uh. So let's uh, begin to create our design. So activate the line command. Now my plan is uh, to uh, start from this uh, upper left hand corner and we'll just simply uh, go all the way around in creating this uh, design. Okay, so let's uh, select a point uh, that's uh, to the left side of the screen. And the first line I need is a downward line and half an inch. Uh, so I could just uh, count uh, how many grip points, so one, two, and that's uh, 0 0.5 inch. Uh. And so click on uh, here and then I can count again, and so that's uh, 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75. Uh. And so for small distance, uh, then, uh, by setting up the snap uh, increment uh, correctly, uh, this actually helps us uh, very quickly create this uh, design. Uh. So this uh, next line, I need it to be horizontal line, and then it lines up uh, with this top edge. Uh. Then I want to go down 0.25 inches. Uh. The next line I need is uh, 3 inches, uh, so I could uh, go back to uh, using uh, the relative input method. Uh, so add uh, 3 inches in the x, comma, 0, so 0 in the y, and hit enter, and AutoCAD will create a line exactly uh, 3 inches long. Uh, the next line I need is a vertical line 1.5 inches long, so I could not use the direct input method. Uh, so move the cursor in the direction I want it to go and then type in the distance. So 1.5, hit enter, and AutoCAD creates the line correctly. The next line I need is an incline line. So I'm going to use the relative input method. So add, x is to the left, so negative 0.75, comma, and y is a half an inch, uh, so 0.5, and hit enter. Okay, and the next line is a horizontal line, one inch long. Uh, so we'll just use the direct input method. So one inch, hit enter. And the last line segment, the incline line, I could just snap to that corner, or I can right mouse click and choose close. 
and we have uh, created uh, exercise one uh, of chapter one.